Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammie, and welcome back to my homestead. Well, guys, I have been working on a project and finally completed it. I needed some shelves for my canning jars and my canners and get some stuff out of my kitchen. I just got so tired of just looking at all this canning stuff. So, this is what I've been doing. I'll give you a little show here. And there's not much lighting in this room because... I had to take the ceiling fan down and I haven't got to put the lighting up. So these are my shelves and it is actually seven foot tall and eight feet wide. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer here. So I'm really excited about these, uh, these shelves right here because I desperately needed these shelves. So, like I said, it's seven foot high, eight feet wide. And right here, I didn't cut off the board because I plan on hanging some rings so I can get easy access with them. I've got two uh, All-American canners up there, already placed up there, so that's getting it out of my kitchen. And uh, down here, it gave me plenty of room to be able to put some, con you know, some different things. Right now, I have uh, some five gallon buckets down here. And I wish I could back up just a little bit, but I can't because I got to get some stuff out of the way. So right here on this shelf right here, I made the, the, this size a little bit taller. This is 17 inches. This is going to handle these big jars right here. Uh, up here, I went to the next tier. I went to 10 inches and 10 inches right here. 10 inches right here, and that gave me 17 inches on the top. Now, in between, what I did, you could actually um, take a, a piece of plywood, cut it in half, and you can set it in here. But I went 23 inches, and the reason I went 23 inches because I noticed it gave plenty of, uh, enough room for my jars. I know it's not enough light in there, but back here, it worked um, actually perfect. So, and when I went 23 inches, it gave me two inches left onto the plywood, which gave me something I could put on the back so that the jars won't, you know, fall over, uh, especially if there was a hurricane or something like that. You know, just so they won't, they won't get behind there or if anything else that, you know, could fall behind there. Yes, some things will probably slip right there, but this is, you know, this is actually going to get going to be for bigger stuff so I put one right there and this right here this board that's going all the way down there to all the way down there that that is a two by four and I've already got my wall marked and you can't see it but I've got my wall marked where my studs are at and I'm going to be putting three inch screws there so that it will give um be connected to the wall and easy access of taking it off uh, because eventually I'm going to take re take this back down and move it somewhere else. But the main reason I put that 2x4 there and going to put 3 inch screws there is because in case of an um, earthquake, then my this right here will be steady. So 10 inches up here and then there's another board back there that I put. Now, I could have gone in between here and just set it in the middle of that 2x4. But I decided when I looked at it, just leave the whole two by four. It only actually gave me one less inch. Um, I would have one, one, let's see, one inch uh, less, more, excuse me, one inch more if I had put it to the wall. So when I put it two by four, it just gave me a, a one inch less as far as room wise, if that makes any sense. So it didn't really make any sense of me just taking, cutting that two by four and putting it in, putting it, bracing it into the middle like I did these right here from here to here in the middle. It didn't really make no sense to me to, to do it like that. So also up in here, I spaced these uh, basically about 17 inches. On this shelf down here, there is, you can't really see it that good, but there's a lot more uh, two by fours up under there, which is gonna give me more support because I'm be putting uh, some of these canning jars. Just wanna make sure I got enough uh, 
enough support there for these jars. Now, I didn't use OSB because of the fact of the weight of the jars. Now, they say you can use OSB. I'm sure that you can, but I decided to use plywood. Now, these boards right here, you'll see these right here and right here, right here, right here. These boards are actually from uh, the uh, builder supply where I got the wood from. And they these are just boards that go up under the boards uh, of wood that they got stacked up there. And they're just going to throw them away. So I always look and grab them. This worked out perfectly. It saved me a little bit of money as far as um, buying wood, especially wood has gone up 60% now. So I use those to keep the jars from falling forward. Also, I like it that with this gap I put right here, so that up here I can see what is in these jars. Now, another thing is this right here. I didn't have to do this, but this is just like a uh, wood that I had that I just put right there just because it I didn't have anything else to do with that piece of wood. It wasn't enough to do with anything else. I believe it's a panel board. And uh, so it gives a little bit of decoration. And it'd be nice for one day when I maybe go and just maybe stain this, you know, and just stain it all over. And with this texture right here, it was just going to kind of stand out. So um, also what I did, I just didn't, you see how I got these boards like, let's see if I can get right here. It's kind of hard to do this. Okay, so I put, I made sure I put enough braces when I was doing this. And right here, I'm trying to get down there. You know, I made sure I got my, my braces in between here all the way up. I just didn't put a two by four. I just didn't put a two by four right here. I put one also on this side right here. Down here, I also, hopefully you, there's enough light. But I put, you know, some braces right here. Just went all the way. Made sure that I had enough support for the weight of the jars or anything else that I um, put on there. Now, this room is kind of compact right at the moment. So even on the sides, these boards right here, I they were uh, extra boards I had in the shed and that I was using for another project and had extra. So I just cut those and put those right there. And uh, that keeps the jars from falling to the side. So let's see, I dropped my notes here. I think that's pretty much it. So 17 inches from the top, 17 inches, 17 inches at the top up there, 17 inches at the bottom. Gives me enough for containers or five gallon buckets. And uh, underneath I went, tried to go 13 up under there, try to get my space right here. I know the lighting's going down, but about 13 inches. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. The hardest part about this was um, was pretty much the lighting in here. Uh, didn't get the light up, but uh, it worked out fine. Now, this tier up here, I did build these tiers, this section right here, two by four on one side, two by four on the other side, eight feet. Uh, went in and put my spacers in here and did that outside. And this was the last part, this little panel board here uh, was the last part. But I did these tiers outside and brought them in. That made it a lot easier because I'm doing this by myself. I didn't have anybody holding the boards or, you know, help me <laughs> lugging this in or anything like that. So you got to find a way that's easy for you uh, to be able to build by yourself. And you can build by yourself. You just got to be creative. Now, the top part up here, I tried to do, see if I could just do it piece by piece, and you can. The only difference was, is that, um, the only difference was, is when I was putting these spacers, if I can get some light in here, these spacers up here, and these, I, you can't really see it up there, the spacers right here up there, I had to screw the screw in, uh, diagonal in. Besides, you know, when you build a tier, you're going to put your spacers in and you're going to screw the screw sideways because I did it, did it piece by 
piece, this section up here, then when I came in, I had to come an angle to put my spacers in, if that makes any sense. So this board and this board, this board, and a lot of these boards, uh, size, besides the two by four and the plywood was free um, at the Builder Supply place. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button and hit, give me a like up, give me a like up, give me a thumbs up. Because if I don't get enough videos out there with uh, likes, it just keeps me in a certain category and no one sees the videos. So I know I haven't got that many videos out or been able to get videos out, but I've also been working on editing and that takes time. And with editing also when, um, you start having problems with the editor, you get one thing uh, squared away and then it becomes another problem somewhere else. So I'm working at it, but please uh, hit, give me a thumbs up, hit that like button and please share. And thank you so much for watching. So once again, I got my shelves built here and I'm so excited about it. And once I got this together, honestly, I looked at it and I said, I did that? You know, I'm not a carpenter, but I believe if you put your mind to anything, you can do it. And so I am really um, proud of myself that I saw something that I wanted to do. I did not let, because I was by myself, I didn't have any help or the lumber prices, you know, were sky high, they're 60% up now. You know, I just worked at it and you know what? It came together and I'm so happy now. Now I can start getting some things organized, getting these canners out of my um, kitchen is great. I got another one sitting in there, which I'm going to be, hopefully I'm going to get some things more organized. Then uh, I'll be back to try to can some chicken. Um, yeah. Yeah. I got some chickens out there. Just got to go. I just, you're about to drive me crazy. So got a whole bunch of roosters. That's, that, that is no fun. All right, guys, thank you so much. God bless you. I know I'm getting this shadow here. God bless you, and remember to make it a great day.